Breakfast just ain't breakfast without a steak for meat homie. Oh yeah. We're all eating good today. Thank you, meat homie. I love you. Hi friends. <laughs> Leo and I are at the Torrance Cultural Center today. There is a fiber festival here. Ooh. We're gonna go see some friends. Join us, will ya?
that concludes our visit to the WEFF. I know it was, uh, I know they were selling yarn, but I thought it was yarn to crochet or knit with. And it's basically for weavers. This is a weaver, uh, what is that called? What? A weaver what? Weaver's Guild? A weaver's guild. Something that I had never been to, but it was something to do to get out. And I got my Leo with me. We had a really great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed these little few minutes oh, that we were here. I'm going to take Leo home and I'm going to go home and make some delicious tacos. And I'll show you how I make those. So I'll see you in a little bit. I am attempting to make salsa. Got a brownies, one jalapeno, some garlic. I love garlic. Here's my meat. I'm browning it. Here's my chopped onions and my garlic. So that is my setup. The salsa came out incredible. <gasps> I made this, yes. And my tacos are complete. We have the beef, the salsa, lettuce, sour cream, fresh tomatoes. There's part of the salsa. Mm, 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 mm. You know what happened, guys? Well, I ate dinner. I ended up having six tacos. But do you know what happened after? You all know that I was with uh, Terry for in New Mexico to visit her, yeah? With Sedalu. Well, we had found the pinon guy, English's pine nuts, and you all know I'm fascinated with New Mexico pinones. And I just finished my bag. Just no more. That's my little dessert I have every night when I finish eating. Here's the seeds, the leftover. Well, that's my day today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get ready for vlogist starting October 1st. I will try and vlog every day. No promises. But I have something special to share with you guys. And I hope you'll be here with me. So thank you to everybody that came along. I love you very much. Peace, love, harmony, kisses, and... <laughs> Bye! Hi guys, I'm back home. I just finished walking old chop, and I wanted to show you my um, enabling stuff from today. So as you saw, I went to the Fiber uh, Southern California Weaving and Fiber Guild. And Alexandria, the art of yarn. Hello, Alexandria! She messaged me and she was like, yo, I'm going to be in Torrance. Is that by you? And I said, uh, yes, actually. So she said, come through. Then I saw Diane from Die Lot Studio posted something on Instagram that she was going to be there as well. And I was like, I'm on my way. Say no more. I haven't been to any type of fiber festival in a while. <laughs> That's the other boy. And there's this boy looking hairy scary you need a haircut you want to see how to youtube it's really good so i thought i'd go see diane and go see my friend alexandria on my way to uh torrance i was passing through leo's house so i called her and i'm like yo where you at she said i'm just getting home from costco i was like let's roll so <laughs> pick her up real quick <laughs> <laughs> and we get over there and it's a small little venue it was very tiny but it's really good oh it was a small little venue but it was just enough to make my heart pitter patter with yarn it made me so happy there was a lot of weavers there and it didn't occur to me that it was a weaving uh, festival <laughs> I got that from him Hi. That's Hi. Angel. Okay. Alright, be careful. Love you. Love you.
I'm going to leave this in so you could see my daily life. <laughs> so I, I went to this one booth and I was like, oh, is this stuff all for weaving? And they said, yes, it is a weaver's festival. And I'm like, oh. So, so I walked in and right away I saw Alexandria. She gave me the biggest hug and we were talking and I told her I loved her and she said she loved me too. And Leo was like, oh, yarn, birdies. <laughs> so let me show you what I got from Alexandria. It's beautiful colorway called Emerald Forest. Those are true colors. DK weight, 280 yards of lusciousness. <gasps> smells wonderful. Wonderful. I like it a lot. Yes, I do. There's chop. I went next door. <laughs> I went next door to Diane Stanley from Dye Fiber from Dye Lot Studio. And this one was talking to me. This is also DK Weight. Tempo Teal. That's true to color exactly. <gasps> beautiful. Beautiful. And then this one is called Mardi Gras from Diane. Dialog Studio. She is located here in Yorba Linda. Alexandra is in Oregon. I had originally met them at Stitches and I got to have dinner with Diane one night and it was a lot of fun and I thank you for being there and helping me to refocus. If you remember, you remember with the napkin deal. <laughs> thank you so much. Alexandra, I see her every year and I love her to death. Thank you for always being so kind to me. Uh, I also got this cute little bag from Dye Lot Studio. And then I walked around and I found this cute little bracelet. I think it was $4. So I got it because I liked it. And you all know I love little colorful bracelets. And then they have like all miscellaneous one two three four five tables of just stuff in ziplocs like people that don't want it anymore i found some darn good yarn i found some scarfy i mean not scarfy um that scarf yarn i can't think of the name when you make the scarf with i can't remember all the old school yarns were there and this one was drawing my attention i'm sure you know why look how beautiful it's beautiful it's it's about a fingering weight but you can mix it with another yarn you know and give it pizzazz i love it and i was like there was two of them in the bag there was two of them two of them and i said how much is it and she said three bucks and i'm like i'll take that so i got two of them three bucks there's no odor they don't smell bad or nothing and we got this cool little booklet for going over there. It's a little tad, uh, notepad. And, and I got these cute little seeds. They had a plant there, and I cannot remember the name of the plant. But they get, it's like a, like a giant, between an acorn and a pineapple. And you break the little pieces off, they dry them, and then... They paint them with food grade dye, she said, and then they write on them. So I got this one that says Brave. This one that says Beautiful. I love the screen. And this one that says Love. Because all you need is love. Love is all you need. <laughs> and that was about... An hour's worth of uh, looking around. And that was it. And then we came home. So if you ever get the chance to go, I highly recommend it. Thank you, Alexandria, for inviting me. Diane, it was beautiful to see you. And I can't wait to see you guys again at Stitches. Either SoCal or um, got moved for next year. Sa Sacramento. So I hope to see you guys there. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday, and we will talk soon. Bye-bye. I made a hat. I made a hat. There's no San Andreas fault. 
which I love it, except for I joined the purple. Ding dong. But I love it. It's for my son's girlfriend. She wears it like this with pins. So it's going to slouch really nice. I like it a lot. This is made with Hobby Lobby yarn. Uh, the one with the stripes, I can't think of the name. And then the purple is simply soft. Yay! I love it. You guys all know that Chelsea Yarns does all these beautiful colors in yarn. But did you know she does candles? Think below. And you too can get some beautiful candles from Chelsea Yarns. Love you! Yo, Zizi, who got you smiling like that? Yarn, friends. Yarn, 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 yarn. Lovely yarn. Beautiful day with yarn. Hi, friends. It's been one of those days. One of those days. I'm outside. We have traffic. We have noise. Had a long day. Can't even tell you what time it is. I don't have my watch on. My elbow is going on two and a half weeks. How are you guys? <laughs> are you guys okay? <laughs> I hope you have no ailments. I hope you have no drama going on in your house. I hope there's been no fires nearby because we had one again right over there. I'll try and close some video of that after. Uh, I have been crocheting. I've been trying to stay focused and make things, make beautiful things. I did enjoy myself at the yarn little weaving and fiber festival. <laughs> I felt so dumb, y'all. When I was like, y'all got a lot of weavers here. And they said, because it's a weaving festival. Well, hot dog. I didn't know that. I didn't even read the sign. I just saw yarn and I was like, ooh. So, uh, what am I up to? I'm up to so much. Let's just focus on yarn. That's what we're here for. <laughs> yarn. Let's focus on yarn. <clears throat> so, um, I live in Southern California. LA area. Los Angeles city of lost angels we're all lost over here <laughs> what am i trying to say think um what was i gonna say i don't know <clears throat> It's been getting a little chilly at night. Yesterday, it was a cool 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And I actually wore a little sweater, which was uh, exciting because it's been hotter than a here. It's been 100, 98, 100, 102. Today was 95, but all the other rest of the week was uh, a cool between 68 and 74 which is nice, beautiful weather. Now, as you guys know, I take Grandpa on a walk. When we go on a walk, he is a little chilly because he's a little tiny dog. <laughs> he heard the keyword W-A-L-K, and he's like, huh? So, uh, I thought I would make him a little coat so he could be nice and toasty woasty. Let me show you what I made this dude. The pattern is from Twin Star Hooks. The video is linked down below. This is what I made Grandpa. Hoi! Say hi, Chop! Say hi to YouTube. Huh? Over there. It's uh, ribbed up on the top. It's a self-striping yarn or variegated, whatever you call it. It feels wooly. This is part of my birthday yarn that I got last year. And then the bottom, 
I added ribbed as well. And then I added three double crochet of uh, for sleeves and one row of single crochet and then single crochet all the way around. And this yarn, it's striped beautifully. I like it a lot. Do you like it, Chippy? What do you think? How you like it? So, say hi to YouTube. Look, right there. <gasps> Beautiful little sweater. There's his goatee. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> There's no San Andreas fault. Woo! I could not let him be looking that good in something I made. I wanted to look good too when I do the little walkies with Chop Chop. So you guys remember when I got this book a while back? It's called the Crochet Stitch Dictionary. It's by Nellie Brass and Eveline Hetty Burkhart. I looked through here and I found they have a bunch of cool little stitches. How to and number 57, the double crochet V, which is this one. This has the instructions and I don't want to show that. This one right there. You see it? I went ahead and used the little snippet on how to make the double crochet. It's a certain way you make it. Double crochet whatever it was called. <laughs> Let's just get through this video. <laughs> and I made me a cowl. Now I'm not gonna lie, the San Andreas fault is vicious. <laughs> but the front though, Big Daddy, is beautiful. Beautiful. For spacious guys. So this is the tutorial. I mean the pattern. It's three rows and then I did a row of double crochet and three rows of the pattern double crochet and then I did a single crochet on the top and the starting row was with that little tutorial that I have on how to do a single foundation chainless crochet thing that's linked down below on my playlist tutorials so you're ready to see the back I could have done this in the round but I did not know how to join it so it's mine. I don't care. I'm only wearing it at night when I take old dude for a walk. So this is snap chop. So this is the back. Look at that. It's horrid. It's like a Frankenstein. I just single crocheted. But the crack goes to the back. <laughs> I look marvelous. So now Chippy and I match. <laughs> I have my beautiful cowl and he has his beautiful Jackie. And we'll be doing the walkies. Thank you. <laughs> I think we're gonna look fabulous, darling, fabulous. This has brought me so much joy. I had so much fun making this. This probably took two hours, if that, probably. Super fast, I used a J-hook, and the yarn is the same as this. It's like a wooly feeling. I'm not gonna wash it in the washing machine. I'll just go ahead and dip it in the sink with some hair conditioner. And we're gonna look fabulous, darling. So that's a stitch again. If you want to take a look, it's not a V-stitch. There's a way to do this, and uh, it's super easy. I never even taught it that. So that's uh, our make for last night. I finished his jacket two days ago, and then he, he W-A-L-K, was it. <laughs> last night for the first time, and he liked it. How am I doing? I know, I hear you guys. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. I'm alive. That's all that matters. I don't know how I'm doing it. There's so much, so much crap. And you know, you find the little, the little areas of um, peace of mind whenever you can. Under the shade, 
a little drive in the car, go get a Starbucks or something, whatever you can to just make the most of the little moments. Whether it be alone or with the person you want to be with the most or with old dude. <laughs> I will be doing the vlogist vlog every day in October because October is my favorite month of the year. It's Halloween -y time and all those other things and I'm super excited and I did get a Halloween advent which arrived last week, a week and a half ago actually. <gasps> so excited. So I will be doing the vlogist starting October 1st and I hope you guys will join me in celebrating the best month of the year. October. Hugs and kisses to everybody. Smoochies. <laughs> From little Tap Tap and myself. Say bye bye, YouTube. Say we love you. Say bye bye, Chippy. Kisses. All right, guys. Be good. Peace out. Love you. Bye.